Yes, I welcome everyone on my YouTube channel, my subscribers. Thanks for subscribing on my YouTube. Thanks for supporting and I'm encouraging you if you are new, you, you are watching this video. If you are new, please, when you have not subscribed, consider subscribing on my channel because I'm giving you the correct information from the, from the right sources. So today I'm here. To give you the idea, this is the monthly video from the U.S. Embassy Kampala, Job Opportunities. So every month I always post a video for job vacancies from U.S. Embassy Kampala. So even today, I'm here to give you that, that same video from the U.S. Embassy Kampala. So I will just encourage you that when you want to find out the information, always to get the current information is about the job opportunities at U.S. Embassy Kampala. Please just try to follow the U.S. Embassy social media accounts, Twitter, Facebook, all, all of them. You will be able to get the current opportunities which they have. So when you want to find this information or to find the website, just go to Google and put jobs at U.S. Embassy Kampala. Then when you put, the first option will be job opening at U.S. Embassy Kampala. So there, you just click there and the page will look like this. The page will be like this. The photo you see there, that is the Ambassador Natalia. Yeah, the U.S. Ambassador in Uganda. So today I'm going to read for you some information which is here. The job list is down. It's the last on this page. You just click. But I want to read for you some information which is here. Before you reach to the job, when I reach on the list of the job, I will just outline reading just the job positions so that you can be able to apply for them. So let me start reading for you this information so that you can get a clear message. U.S. Embassy Kampala, Human Resource Office, encouraging interested job applicants to apply for any of our opening positions. The message from the Ambassador Natalia E. Brownie. So you just click here, you, you, you will go direct to YouTube and you listen to her message. So important message for all job seekers. In light of the current restrictions in place, Recruiting resulting from the COVID-19 pandemic, please be advised that recruitment for and selection of candidates for vacant, for vacant positions within the U.S. mission is currently experiencing delays. Please continue to monitor this website for updates and news on recruiting on recruitment for our position vacancies. Thank you for your interest in applying for jobs at the U.S. mission in Uganda. So that is. Then down. Please note. Applications can only be received from the online recruitment service using the link below. The link is here. You, which you can use to apply, to submit your application. So the link is here. Mm -hmm. note, the, note that the U.S. Embassy job application link has changed to electronic recruitment application error. So before they used to take the application is directed to the embassy. But now they changed you have to apply online. So the link is here also. Please feel free to create an account before the actual immigration. So they encourage you to create the career account. But you will get the link for creating this career account. When you go down to the job list, you click in the job of your interest. So when you click there, you will f when you read through, when you are reaching at the end, that is where you will find this link where you will be able to create this career account. 
then after creating this career account they will give you a confirmation message that your account creation is successful there you will be able to continue with applying for your job the importance of this career account you put all your information your documents there so when they are advertising some positions they will first consider those people with accounts who have their accounts and with documents which are there so if you are you will be qualifying they will contact you direct so you will be required to register as part of the process you will receive a confirmation of registration and proceed to apply on the completion of this process you will receive an auto response via your email that is what i've told you you will get the confirmation message that your account you created is successful get answers on frequent asked questions regarding how to use ira ira is the electronic recruitment application so here they, they are telling you you can get all the answers how you can use this application to apply for these jobs and the question is which may disturb you you will be able to get the questions and the answers on the link is here please follow all instructions carefully we are unable to respond to individual inquiries candidates selected for interview will be contacted at the address they will provide so here when you are applying please put your valid put your valid email and the valid telephone number because that is the only way they will contact you for further notes or for further information if you are qualified for information about the interview when is your interview when the scheduled date mm -hmm. here here are some tips to prepare for your virtual assessment stroke interview at the u.s embassy kampala so here there is also the link which will give you the tips how your assessment will be how you should prepare yourself before the day of interview you will get the tips here the good thing with u.s embassy jobs they give you all the guidelines how you will apply how you write your your motivation letter how you write your cover letter how which documents you need to apply how your cv will look like so they give you all the guidelines so that you can be able to apply when you are not in a panic when you know the procedures which they need so now i'm on the job list it is down here you will not be able to see because i have light reflections here so i'm going to just outline the jobs just reading when you need the job description you just click in one of the job of your interest you will get you know the salary you will know the qualification of the person they need to apply for these jobs there are around eight jobs so the first one they need driver stroke clerk one position they need voucher examiner also one position they need the carpenter also one position all of this job worker station is in kampala not anywhere mm -hmm. they need shipment assistant one position they need the carpenter yeah i finished that one they need the shops for a man shop shops for a man in the bracket lead lady maintenance technician one position they need asset clerk also one position they also need the telephone operator also one position they need a class b cashier also one position so those are the available jobs eh, at the u.s embassy kampala so if you are interested you can apply so if you find this video very effective to you and helpful 
consider subscribing my youtube channel good luck for all who will be able to apply